Hey guys, welcome back. August is a busy month for Daisy Standalone. And there's one thing that I wanted to talk about in particular that's coming up that's very exciting. And that is the new demo that's going to be shown at Gamescom, which happens on the 23rd to the 26th of August in Germany. And it's kind of being used as a target for the devs. They are seeing it as something that is a bit of a goal for them. There's going to be limited access. Obviously, it's going to be really used as a kind of like a big promotional trailer for 0.63. But it's good to have targets. And it allows them to maybe reduce the goal to a more focused zone. And that's really what it's come down to. And there are some details that Eugene Harton talks about in the latest dev update that I want to sort of go over. Uh, if you're not aware of them, they are actually quite exciting. Now, the, the base for this demo is that they're producing a, a smaller map. So they're basically around Staroy. And so look kind of like the center of the map. And so they're restricting the area so they don't have to handle as much data. They've got new roads and assets. And there are changes to the characters as well. Apparently the faces are different. There's some, I don't quite know what that's going to mean. Maybe more mapping from some of the other developers in the team. There's a new inventory system, which is going to be slightly controversial because you can't move while you're looking at it. Um, it's also meant to be smoother. Items will show their icons in the world, quote. So I don't quite know what that means. Are we going to see little indicators on the screen? Or are they going to be icons in the backpack? I guess we're going to have to see how that works. It's always a question of immersion. We don't want that destroyed through having additional icons appearing in front of us. So we'll see. They're already working with this icon system for the health and stamina and, and such in the bottom right hand corner. How they're going to expand that out has yet to be seen. They also say that actions will be affected by the context, so maybe if it's raining, things get damp, um, stuff like that, you know, damaged, overuse, so that that will be worked into it, and they've always been talking about then trying to get that system to work properly, and it never quite has. There's also going to be more slots for higher tier items. I don't quite know what that means. Are we going to have tiered items like in Battlegrounds? I kind of hope we don't. Personally, because in the real world, you wouldn't know if something's tiered. You would know if it was damaged. So I hope it's code for whether something's damaged or used or there's something about it which you can see as if it was in real life rather than something that was had a fictitious tiering system. It's not necessarily a combat system like uh, a competitive combat system like Battlegrounds where that kind of makes sense. It's, it's a real world immersion so let's hope that they keep that as real as possible there's also a whole bunch of new animations which kind of fits in with the new player controller animation system and there's lots to talk about that how is the player going to move and they've been working hard on combat and some of that is currently in the new experimental so sort of a higher chance of hitting as if in real life if you swung a lead pipe in someone's direction you probably would hit them so there's that and also new gestures so there's better ways of communicating which is going to be good Th these are all going to be seen in this new demo this big big demo and we've also got exhaustion so people have been wondering how that's going to work we're going to be able to see in the demo and i'm really excited to see they're saying that the target is 100 players, and I guess if they've got a smaller map, maybe they may be able to do this. And it will also help with synchronization, this smaller smaller map. So that that's going to be interesting. Now, they're definitely going to have it available at Gamescom, so people can play it there, or their kind of stars, their feature people will come in and sit down and play it, and people can watch. And they'll stream it, no doubt. So we'll get access there. But the big question is, will we get access to it on a separate Steam branch? Now, they're saying that this could happen. And I suspect it will happen if the build is good. 
if it's stable, they'll let people in. But if it's not, and they have to work with maybe 70% of what they'd hoped to have, then I don't think we're gonna get access to it. But fingers crossed they do. They have it out there as another, very much like um, H1Z1 has separate branches for its ex uh, experimental on Steam. Maybe they're gonna take a, a leaf out of their book and, and do it that way. Let's hope so. It does sound exciting. There's definitely going to be a lot more player encounters with this smaller map. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this target, this goal of a demo, pushes the game forward. And I think it will. I think it will it kind of focus these devs, these developers down to the nitty gritty and hopefully getting a game that works. So guys, that's coming up soon. I'm going to do another video when we see some more solid stuff about what the demo is going to show. So you can expect to see that on this channel. If you've got any questions, add them down below. If you've got any insights or something that can contribute to the community, then put it down there because we, we want to share and find out as much about what's coming over the next couple of weeks. So guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subbed already, it'd be awesome if you could. And don't forget, I've got a second YouTube channel where there's other content. Guys, thanks for watching.